Hello everyone, Cheshire the Cat on the scene, currently enjoying God knows what number cough drop this is. <coughs> Welcome back to Illbleed, everyone. I sound like I sound like death. <coughs> How are they gonna go about putting skin back on? Well, we gotta figure that out. Can I still use the horror monitor? Okay, so I'm still Michelle here. Look at her go! Oh my god, it still makes her sounds. Look at her go! Oh god. Now the game wants me to uh, pick another character, to which I'm gonna... Oops. Now who did that? Bruh. And here we go again. Alright, sorry, I probably had to speed that up a little bit. Sight. Walk, 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 walk. Hello, what? Okay. Mm hmm. Walk, 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 walk. Act natural. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm made of wood. I'm just gonna inject myself with adrenaline. You know, as a wood being wood. All natural. Ah, I can't prevent that one, can I? That's instant! I, I guess I'm made of wood. I don't trust the game at this point. I really don't want to redo this. Uh, I don't care if I'm wasting adrenaline or not. I'm like rounding each corner carefully. Immediately zooms into death. Duh! I did not just get jump scared by the background music. Okay. We're good. So far, so good. Is this whole lineup just instant death? Okay. Look, I wouldn't put it past the game to just stick something in front of me just for the sake of killing me right there. Is 
there something over here, maybe? Nope, nothing. Alright. Hmm. Man, woodcutter. The woodman hunting? Wait, do they hunt the wooden people? Is that like their thing? Is this just like the game? And I'm not talking about, like, the video game, I'm talking about, like, how they, how this is set up to be, like, so, um, there's a short story, I forget who wrote it, but it was basically these two, here we go, wood hunting guide, sorry, uh, quick wrap up. So, the, the premise of the game, I think is what it was called, is, uh, these, this professional hunter has, like, an island of exotic animals, and he will hunt them for fun. Like, he's rich enough to have these animals just sent to an island where he hunts them. But he gets bored of hunting big game, so he gets, like, a random man who also likes hunting, gives him a rifle, sends him to the island... And he just, they're just like, okay, so what are we hunting? And he's just like, well, I'm hunting you. And unless if you want to die, you are hunting me. And it, it, it just becomes a game of kill or be killed between these two hunters. It's kind of horrific, but also a really, it's, it's like a really tense story. And I actually enjoyed reading it. Uh, the ledge was a good one, too. In the hunting, the objective is to hunt down the wandering wood puppets. Prizes will be awarded. Participants. Very carefully. Ah. Cursed yawns. It's rules. A point is added after beating a wood puppet. A prize is given based on points. Player is disqualified if beaten by a wood puppet. Point system score differs depending on the type of wood puppets you hunt. For types and points, please refer to the following page. Type A gives points. Human inside. Speaks and runs away. If chased, 30 points. B. Stares without speaking. Simple text. 10 points. Type C. Brainless. Speaks gibberish. Behaves oddly. 2 points. Prizes. 300 points. Gets a gold chainsaw. Special edition by McLaughlin. Ah! Oh, God. So we have to play both, don't we? Points. 3 kilograms of prime beef. 100 points. Gets a mandragore. <laughs> really? <clears throat> 4. Other. Defeated with... Wood puppets will be dedicated to the Mitch, uh, the Michael Clinic for anatomy purposes. So I'm getting in the game, huh? I see you're Michelle Waters, 17 years old. From this point on, <coughs> in the hunting area. There are a lot of woodcutters who'd love to axe you wood puppets into little pieces. If you manage to make it through the hunting area alive, you'll turn back into a human again. Remember, as wood puppets, you can't jump. Here's a list of people taking part in today's adventure. These friends will go to hell and back with you, so stick together. Take the list with you if you want. <laughs> well, what are you waiting for? Get going! One of them is gonna be... Already begun. Brainless Randy. Oh, God. Hunting Manual 2. Guide for Wood Puppets. Basic rules. If you defeat a woodcutter and reach the goal alive, you will have a chance to return to your reward. Fear you will be disqualified. You'll be dead. Listed in the appendix of this guide are the wood puppets already registered for today's hunting. Good luck to you all. Next list of participants. Number 1999, Richard Anastasio, 40, married, salary, oh, male, salary worker, type A. Oh, I'll reach the goal and return to human no matter what. Eleanor Ferenz, 38, female, housewife, type A. Comment, I'm dying, help me. Andy Fairbanks, 16, male, high school student. Comment, I'm dying, I'm dying, I'm dying. 
I'm not making that up, by the way. That's his dialogue without his brain. So look forward to that. That's gonna be a treat. <laughs> Let's go Takagi. Male designer type B. Any prize for wood puppets? Note, no prize for wood puppets. The, the prize is you get your skin back. So I'm gonna be relying heavily on my sixth sense here. Like, the side note is that as a wood puppet, you cannot jump. Alright, I'm gonna just check back here. Because this seems like a place to put something. Aha! This just seems like a good place to put something. Gaboy, yeah, Atain? I'm sorry, what is this? A crude stamina increasing drug made of an herb which grows in volcanic ash causes side effects. Like what? Because my stamina ain't the greatest at the moment. But if I'm good about my adrenaline management, I actually should be fine. Alright, let's go save Randy. You know, just injecting adrenaline into my side, no big deal. Just doing what wood puppets do. Okay. So step one is find Randy. Don't mind me taking it slow. Yeah, I can trust this. Not. Apparently I can. What? What? <clears throat> oh, I hate this camera angle. I really hate this camera angle. What? Oh, is this it? God, why did I have to pee the squishiest one? Alright, cause of side effects, what side effects? We're about to find out. Oh, it makes my heart rate go up. There. That was an easy fix. I think I found Brainless Randy. Oh dear. this. I'm just gonna run around. Where did our brainless friend go? Randy. Look at my helicopter leg go! I don't even know what to do with me. I'm an unstoppable wooden puppet! Fear me! Hehehehe. 
Dude, that guy's just gonna let me go right past. He's like, yeah, I saw you kill that guy. I'm not touching you. I am a force of nature. Literally. Now watch, he's right behind me, right? Yep. They even, like, recoil when I kick them! I mean, I guess, I'm a helicoptering piece of wood. Wait, crap, that sounds really bad. Um... Hey, look at what my leg can do! I just blended that guy's nuts. <laughs> Please don't clip that. Please don't clip that. I beg of you. Uh... Hey, look, I'm not bleeding. I'm not about to have a heart attack either. What, what are you talking about, game? I didn't just make an incredibly inappropriate joke while playing an incredibly... This game actually has some extremely vulgar moments. That actually made me jump. Oh boy. I need to get these headphones fixed. So, where is my friend? How many woodcutters are participating in this? I don't know, but I'm racking bodies, dude. Alright, where is Randy? Uh, oh, what's the deal with you? That's our way out of here. Where's my friend? Oh. Oh my god. Found Randy. Did you think I was kidding when I said his dialogue literally goes, deal. Would the law obtain? Now I need to figure out how to get up there. And I'm guessing what I need to do is use these bugs over here. I'm gonna guess that there's some kind of termite. And I'm holding them while a piece of wood. Because, you know, that makes sense. Wood eating bugs! Yeah! And I'm holding these as a wooden puppet. Yeah. Yep. This makes sense. OSHA violations. Please don't eat me. Yee. Thanks for not eating me. Conveniently. Meanwhile, they're like, how did you even get up there? Oh yeah, reminder, I can't jump. They're waiting for me to fall. Yee. <laughs> I even look down at them like, hmm, can you? Well, I think there's one behind me now. No? Okay. I was actually turning around like I'm ready for him. What might? Okay. I'm going to save here. 
But remember, I'm playing this twice. And I have a reason for that. And it's gonna involve something I want to do later. But it also gets in the way of me having one of the good endings. Okay, what's over here? Steak dinner! Oh, that's a full heal for this character. Relax the mind. Meditation with Mr. T, because I pity the fool that don't know Zen. I'm gonna draw that sometime, that's just great. So you grow more branches. Grow up big and strong, like tall oak. Yeah, this is just nasty. Oh, there's a woodcutter. Well, it looks like I'm fighting you anyway. Hey, you didn't need those balls, did you? Wow, he actually got a hit on me. Ooh, one of you actually got a few hits on me. Sucks to be you. About to just be like wood for life. Uh, oh wait, I'm bleeding. For some reason, I can still bleed. Because that makes sense. Did the green like almost like spores? Am I hearing another woodcutter behind me, or am I crazy? I'm hearing another woodcutter behind me. They did say the wooden puppets bleed. Yeah, I suppose. Okay. Emergency first aid. Randy, are you in here? Randy? Oh god. What are you doing? Oh dear. Ninja training dummies? <clears throat> this is... I'm still playing Ill Bleed, right? Actually, wait, why is that a question? Of course I'm still playing Ill Bleed. This absolutely nonsensical nightmare. Alright, so what's over here? Shell used Randy's brain. Oh, this is Randy! Phew, I'm sad. I couldn't recognize anything because I had no brain. Randy? Are you alright? Whoa! Yo, Michelle! You came here just in time! I'm sick and tired of looking like this! Let's get out of here! Rescued Randy! Alright. 
So, fun fact, uh, getting, like I said, getting his brain is optional. Oh boy, I cannot wait to replay this level just for the glory that is Brainless Randy. Uh, that was everything, right? Alright, now I just need to get the heck out of here, which is, uh, where? Where are we? Oh look, more woodcutter bugs. Oh, more woodcutters! You need to get yourself a katana, bro. Just kick him while he's down. God, this is a all my dragon. <coughs> yeah, they can run faster than me. She agreed. Of course one of them would just wait by the goal, like a freaking camper. Mm-hmm. Eh, uh -huh. ah, this one's cute. Woodman hunting goal. Just kinda really quick. Stop the bleeding. Relax my heart rate. Wait, her hair is light brown? Hold on, did I read that right? Oh, eye color light brown. I was like, honey, that ain't her hair color. Oh. Really waiting at the goal? Freaking cheater. Oh, God. This time I was ready for you. Kick you in the butt, do 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 do. Smack you in the face, do 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 do. Grab your stinking balls, do 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 do. And clackers, anyone? Wow, I still had to worry about other traps. Really? I'm actually gonna check that one out. Scapegoat Mary obtained. That's a new one. Uh-huh. Saw you coming a mile away. Even though I have no nose, I can smell it. 
Put that crap away. Oh, is that how they sort it out? You have to be able to jump? So I have to do this whole thing twice. Bunch of two by fours. Looks like that's my ticket out. So I'm just gonna double check that. You know, double check the place for traps and stuff. Yep, here we go. If this thing kills me right off the bat, I'm gonna hate it here. Cause I didn't see any like knobs or switches, so... Hey, I still have clothes on, cool. Ooh, what a nightmare. Alright, and like just like that, I say next time on Cheshire the Cat, I'll see y'all in the next episode. Till then, take care, ta-ta for now. Hello everyone, Cheshire the Cat on the scene with... Drugs? Um, with the equivalent of, welcome back to Illbleed, everyone. You wanted a scary game for Halloween, and boy, this game is terrifying. To my senses. What? Could be the connection. I mean the cable connection, not the oil pump. No, that's not the problem. Sorry, uh, we're having trouble getting the boss character out. Uh, hold on a second, please. Hey, we got another customer waiting here. Hurry up! <laughs> Try turning on the switch again. Okay, here goes. <laughs> nah, nothing doing. This is gonna be a nightmare. Y you over there, uh, go ahead and jump into it and keep going. I'll try to get it to work from here. Yeah, here's the boss. It wanted to work. So, I believe the deal with this character is I actually just have to, like, wail on him. Except I don't... I don't think I actually have what I need to face him. Oh god, except that was it. Oh god, and if I die here, that's it. Do you have a flamethrower from last mission? Nope! <coughs> <laughs> oh, but I have a scapegoat Mary. The Mary doll sacrificed herself so that you could live. Oh.
All right. Hold up, turn around. I want to make sure, I'm going to double check the guide. I want to make sure that like, I'm not about to enter my death. Old brew, put the whittle there, da 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 da. And you can jump over them, heal yourself as much as possible, they'll fall through. Vines, and when you see the vines moving towards you, get ready to sidestep. Look out for the tree to spit acid on you. Okay. Forward until you reach the open gate, okay, clearing out the stick. Okay, so no, th this is it. I'm actually doing everything right. I'm supposed to attack the trunks. rhythm. Oh god. Ah! Attack, dodge, attack, dodge. All right. Problem is, every time I dodge, my heart rate goes up. Fatal range. No. We did it. Huh. And his mechanics are all broken. What's the point of him anyway? Did he just want to chop this tree, but then it ate him? <clears throat> <coughs> and it's just unceremoniously elevators back down. Oh my god. You know what? I didn't realize I was this close to the end, so I'm just gonna tack this on to the name previous is episode. George McLaughlin. I can oh wait, so that's George McLaughlin. Is that supposed to be the story, that the tree, like, ate him and then he became the tree?
Well, here's the thing, that's the goal, so let's just go ahead and get on out of here. Ooh. What? Please, no surprises. Yep, there's the goal. have to replay that level. <clears throat> yeah, I'm gonna lose a chunk of money from that. But, thanks to that, we cleared the level. So I'm gonna go ahead and, yeah, I'm just gonna tack this onto the last episode. So, for you YouTubers, this is Treasure the Cat signing off, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Till then, take care, ta-ta for now.